Welcome to Heartland Makes and Outdoors. And you know what, guys? It's Tackle Shop Tuesday, and it is also none other than Halloween. So in today's video, we're going to kind of go with that Halloween-themed color. If you guys ever get bored and you want to start Googling what are some good colors for crappie jigs, black and orange will a lot of times come up as one of the colors. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start off, as usual, oh, this is going to be a huge bonus round today too because we're going to show you how to tie two of these two different colors we're going to use that black and orange halloween theme and then as heartland makes an outdoor style we're going to be giving these away also guys so it's going to be kind of fun so we're going to start out this is a black underspin jig i'll put a link down below to where we got these we're going to use some orange marabou and this is kind of a fun color. I really like it. It's just kind of fun. And again, guys, if you get bored and Google some popular colors for crappie lures, black and orange will always come up. It works good in your muddy waters. It works good in your clear waters. And it just kind of simulates, especially when you start getting into this fall fishing time like we are now, it simulates some of the natural colors, which the fish are attracted to. Again, we just use two small pieces, one on top, one on bottom. You could do that a little bit different. And then for flash, to give it just a little bit of perk today, guys, for Halloween special, we're gonna use blue. You know, blue and orange is actually complementary colors. I, <laughs> many years ago, had a bright blue street bike and it had orange pinstripes man that thing was cool it was an arlen nest signature series vegas victory vegas made by company victory which eventually was bought out by a company named polaris just cut that little bit we got a little bit too long there but that's all we're going to do guys we're going to keep this lure real simple simple being the key kind of that smallish size so that we can stick to these crappie that aren't super super active but they should be getting better because we're getting into fall we're getting into some of the prime fishing right now all right we're gonna tie that up let's run up here to the very beginning up here and if i've lost you guys anywhere <laughs> along this build don't worry about it because we're fixing to do another one just like this with an orange head and again guys this is keeping the theme of halloween it's tackle shop tuesday we love making lures and if you guys are new to this and you haven't done it yet let me tell you there's nothing more special than catching a crappie or a bass on a lure that you tied yourself it just makes it so much funner again we've already wrapped up we got that black chenille on we're going to come up here we're going to do the whip finish wrap that around about four or five good times and oh my goodness i don't know what i've got going on here but let's see if that is in focus because i think i may have lost y'all son of a gun All right, and that's got it. Look at that. Is that not an awesome looking lure, guys? Look at that thing, would you? Black head, black chenille, and that blue accent, really, I think, makes this thing, I think that's gonna sell it. All right, guys, back up real quickly. Again, one of the key secrets, if you're using any of these jig heads, and I'll put a link down below to these underspin. They're real cheap. They're powder coated already, so it saves you a ton of time. We're going to start out again with a little bit of the generic Sally Hansons because my Sally Hansons is kind of dried up on me. It's not really working too awesome. We're going to use the Black Ultra Thread 210. That's my favorite. If you guys have been following along for very long at all, tying these bigger crappie jigs, I'm just using that thicker, heavier duty thread. Still get plenty of it. 
we're going to start just like that. We're going to get us a nice little bit of this orange marabou. And we'll make this one a little bit easier. I want to tie on a thicker piece this time instead of doing one on the top and bottom. So this video doesn't get too awful long. Come back here. We want to tie back to about the sh shank of the hook. Cut this excess off. And then look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab some of this blue. And I, I just love that. The way that blue accents that orange. Again, if you're into art, those are complementary colors. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right, next up. Again, this is the same chenille. It's from Bass Pro. It's black. It's fairly cheap. It's not super expensive. And... I think it goes great with our Halloween color scheme that we're going with today. Just tie that main core in. We've got a little bit of there, a little bit of junk. And then we're going to start right here and start wrapping that. Ah, dag nabbit, look at that. That's what happens when you get in a hurry, guys. Some of my blue flash started hanging up. I'm going to wrap this up. Would you guys like to know what I'm using to hold my jigs for tying these lures with. Because I've switched up from one of the other videos. If you'd like to know, put a comment down below. We're going to cut this chenille off. Next thing we're going to do, grab our whip finishing tool, come in here. I always go about four or five. Again, guys, you know I'm wanting to catch a bunch of crappies, so Sometimes doubling this up will make, and we got us some mess up here. Dag it. Hang on, we're we're not going to call this done. I'm going to I'm going to save this thing. But this is ah. I'll, I'll cut this out. There we go. Boom. Those little spinners will sometimes grab a hold of your thread. Just be careful, be patient, work through it. Don't let that spinner win. And then again, what do you think guys? There's the orange head, black body, blue flash. And then our other one, let's put it up here so we can kind of compare them. There's the other one, black head, black body, orange flash that might look good if we would have used some orange thread i don't have orange thread guys i've only got so much but like our other, all of our other videos aside from being happy halloween we're going to be doing a giveaway you're going to actually get an opportunity to win both of these lures what you need to do is comment down below hashtag free lures with an s on it and that lets me know that you would like to win the free lures again guys we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes i hope you all have a blessed and happy halloween be safe out there if you're out there trick-or-treating tonight number one be safe glove up you know what i'm saying guys let's just keep it safe again we appreciate your likes comments and subscribes may you have a blessed week and let's get outside and make something happen oh by the way as usual we need 85 views on this video for the giveaway and the giveaway is going to take place right after Thanksgiving because I've got to, I'm going to be out of town for a few days, guys. I'm going back to Oklahoma to do some primitive camping, primitive archery, bow hunting. And uh, man, I can't wait to get back and take you guys fishing. I hope you all have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen.